Thanks for joining me today. I'd like to show you the magic of carving avocado pits. An old friend showed me how to do this years back and I thought I'd pass it along now. So first you start by peeling the avocado pit. You're going to want to do this while it's wet. If it dries out, it's kind of hard to peel it. And then carve into it. I'm using a safety pin, but you can use any sharp point, a pin or the end of a compass. And if you notice where I'm etching into the avocado pit, you can't really see it until it starts oxidizing. That's where the magic is. And so I just carve a couple lines and then put it down. It turns red as it oxidizes and then I pick it back up and continue. found out that eating avocado pit is good for you. Uh, the pit contains a lot of the nutritious, beneficial, essential fatty acids and a bunch of other nutrients it's worth looking into. Or you can carve into them. As you'll find out, they are amazing to watch while they're oxidizing. Make really great pieces of artwork. extra avocado pit so I just etched uh, some cross hatching in it to show you how deep red it turns the more that you etch into this thing. The pit will turn darker and darker as the hours go by. After around eight hours they'll turn completely dark with a bright orange where you carved into it. I strongly advise trying this for yourself. Uh, watching the oxidation reaction is pretty magical. This is one I did a while back and it's shriveled up to look like a mummy head. You can paint on them. I've used modeling paste and painted on them before. Please like, share, and subscribe, and if you'd like to see more, leave a comment below. Thank you. A word of warning, once dry, the avocado pits can become a choking hazard to small children and pets. You don't want your cat to poop out an avocado tree. <laughs>